Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new series of designing a website from scratch and this is the first episode of this particular series. Now this series is new to my channel and what this series we aim to do is that we find websites of developers that we already know or find websites from you know just randomly from the internet that do not have good UI design and then we redesign them or design a website for them from scratch okay so, so we'll be getting idea from what their website is already looking like we'll be designing them a logo and all those kind of stuff so it's going to be an interesting series guys so make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so this particular series we will be taking coding phase's new website which is called 87 lux agency which is a new agency that he created a new business he started and the website did not look good so i just thought you know why not redesign it so this is the result so i'll be sharing the process and all those kind of stuff how we designed it and like what are the formats that I have what are the stuff that I created for it the logo the website and how I went about doing it the for the layouts the color theory all those kind of stuff we'll be going over so make sure you guys stick until the end of the video I'll also try to have timestamps in the description if you guys have any suggestions let me know in the comments and also if you have any idea of any website that you want me to redesign let me know in the comments send me an email or a DM which will be linked in the description down below and let's get started okay guys so I've got figma opened up on my laptop so the first thing so let me also open up 87 lux uh, agency website so this is the website guys like just taking a look if you want a website if you're now I'm sure this is just you know starting they're also working on the website I, I'm, I'm sure I'm aware of that but just taking a look at this website you could see how they how they are progressing how they would want to create their website in the future so i thought you could give a modern look to it you can see their slogan is a modern digital agency you could give a modern look to it guys an agency is like you want the person who wants a website to you know see like your website is attractive and all those kind of stuff so you want that so i want to give a modern look to it so first of all taking a look the agency this to be honest does not look that good could be improved so I first of all before working on the website you need a logo so I worked on the logo so I'll show you guys here which you might have seen in the first it is 87 lux it's the same text so I did this so did I eventually you know start at the start itself did I get this design no first of all I was you know just implementing the text made it a little bit bigger uh, implementing the background color just meddling with that then I you know got a design idea you know just to have a box and having the text over it I tried that it looked pretty good I did not have this blue squares so I also implement I wanted a secondary color basically to design the website you want a secondary color right so I was implementing and meddling with a lot of colors I thought this color would be you know awesome it looks really nice I guess, I guess it looks really nice let me know what you guys think so this was a logo I came up with you can see 87 lux it's with around 267 font size it's pretty good for a logo and then I've got a little bit of a drop shadow I'm not sure if you guys can notice but it's got a little bit of a drop shadow if I remove the drop shadow no let me not let me not touch this okay so it looks pretty good you can see it looks modern the colors at the background you know looks good for an agency you want it to look modern right so that is what the feel I was going for and then uh, yeah I also wanted to touch on one point that basically a logo you usually people take the size of 800 by 800 but for this I took 1600 by 1600 it's double the size that's because normally if you're putting this logo on any social media it will be compressed so if you're putting 800 to 800 it might be compressed to somewhere around 5 oh sorry um, 300 or 200 by 200 so it might compress so if you're putting for a higher value 1600 it will be compressed to 800 so the quality will be much better there will be no you know quality loss and all those kind of stuff so this is a logo and basically you could just get a feel of how the website might look and let's go and see what the website is going this is the home page of the website that i built as you guys can see i guess it looks pretty good for a you know a agency website it looks really really nice with a modern look to it and first of all for the navigation i want to go really simple i did not want you know, a lot of things to be happening on the navigation bar I wanted it to be pretty simple but I also wanted a call to action so I had the logo here 
so the first approach that i went in order to get you know the height and alignment all those kind of stuff working i had a box here just to show you guys i'll put a stroke right there i have box there so with the box and a stroke and a uh, I, I guess a background color i was working with the alignments and then once i have that figured out i removed i removed the stroke from it and as you guys can see it's got a basic flex kind of layout so i've got the logo here then all the links home about services career and contact so if you go here which is the actual website home about careers and contact only he's not got the services i guess they missed it or something that's totally fine i put the services in so if you're providing or as an agency you would provide a lot of services like mobile solutions and websites you are designing testing all those kind of stuff so didn't wanted to miss that so services was an essential navigation link that i wanted to put in and for the navigation bar i wanted to call to action so work with us once the uh, say the person is person already knows your 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 services and all those kind of stuff they just want to fill out a form they just want to get the get their product done so they just come on and click on work with us and that's going to get their work done also for the you know for the header i got an awesome uh, slogan which was actually from their website a modern digital agency you can see how it looks over here and how it looks right here modern digital agency and then we've got a footer no not a footer um secondary text just to explain what these 87 lux agency does and this was just you know normal text that i put in i just was looking at other people's designs and what they put in i just put my own touch to a little bit so I, I'm, I'm not sure if this is correct coding face if you're watching this video i'm not sure if it is correct just correct me if i'm wrong um so this is just with a little bit of good spacing i managed to get it good so i also gave it a line height of extra 63 percent percent also with a good button with the second this is exactly why i needed a secondary color so i could you know meddle with the buttons and i wanted to give a good modern feel to it you see me say that a lot of times that's what i had in my mind when i was working on this project okay right after the header i've got a section for saying what are the companies we have worked with so what are the companies that 87 lux agency has worked with so as you guys can see these are just demo projects but i hope they work with them so we have worked with companies like bmw sony haynes zerpli vmware mashable and cat uh, caterpillar and so these are the companies i have worked with this is pretty simple there's nothing else going on i wanted to put a underline so text decoration underline like we put it in coding but i did not find any way to you know, accurately get it but when we are coding we could do that but this is a basic uh, structure of the middle this is the middle section of the website after that i've got a section where it says why should you work with us as an agency people want to know why why the person they why the company they want to work with is unique what is it that they offer that others don't so this is a section where you could put all those stuff here and these are just you know random stuff that i put uh, it just came off my brain i asked my brother and all those kind of stuff also i'll leave a link to my brother's channel if you want to check it out he also did a video on my portfolio just subscribe to him and yeah so let's continue the video here i've got all of the stuff that they that they are unique of and what are the stuff that they provide what is the uh, what makes them yeah obviously unique and all the stuff that they do and the uh, most important thing that i like is you don't have a budget but one high quality work as joe was mentioning in his video that they work with multiple multiple budgets and multiple projects so that's what i wanted to include so this is a pretty basic section as you guys can see it's got a you know the green check mark which i wanted to include i could i could have in uh, you know implemented a bullet point but do, having different colors would be good and having the you know the green color in the website would be would make it a little bit pop out i guess so yeah so we have given so much of information now now not that much now this i, I just want to say this thing i totally forgot this is just getting started with the website guys this is not you know the to entire i did not spend the entire day this was not my end goal you know uh, work on this the entire day uh, have the best project here but i just wanted to work on this i wanted to see how it would turn out i want to have a good website good looking modern looking website 
so this is was a came up, what i came up with if i was given you know a entire week to do this this would have been you know a lot of things would change a lot of pages a lot of styles would change color themes a lot of things would change so as we are given such information right here on the header about the company and all those kind of stuff why should you work with us and then i have a section does that sound good to your business so if they think all the information that I, that we are given seems like they want to work with 87 lux agency this is what this is a question that I, that they want to answer so th does that sound good to your business get started now by booking an appointment appointment and let's talk more about it so that's like a good you know really good call to action i did not even even get that idea to my mind until i reached this point but this was a pretty good thing that i was able to add so, so you could book an appointment there are three different call to actions but they take you to i guess the same place get started will you know take you to you know signing up and giving all your information what you want work with us is also kind of an appointment appointment is you get to book a call with i guess the person uh, who who's gonna lead the development team and all this kind of stuff and what are the requirements and all those kind of stuff so book an appointment is a huge call to action it's bigger than the buttons here because uh, obviously it's the end of the website if they have come at until the end of the website we don't want the user to go so we want the user to click on something put their email get get somehow their contact so that we can contact them for you know other projects that we have you know low budget projects or any other businesses that we create so that's basic here it's very basic but it's a huge thing in a website if you're implementing this so for the footer i just have you know basic layout i've got the logo here then i've got the explore page which you could explore the website itself explore the about us section services careers and also contact us section so you could explore within the website and also subscribe to the mailing list so as an agency you might have you know different developers who wanna um yeah who wanna you know share their knowledge and all those kind of stuff if you want to get more customers you could also do this so if they are coming until the end of the website somehow to get their contact you can do something so this is something i wanted to try out i'm not sure i'm sure if it works or not so subscribe to the mailing list so you could enter email and then subscribe so footer is you know i'm not sure if it looks the best I, I did not put that much of time into it because uh it's just a basic footer right people have seen the entire website but you you cannot leave it like that the footer looks just look good but i could have included a lot more links the main thing is that i did not have that much of you know links and more information about this particular website so that was the reason if i did have it i could you know put a lot of links and put you know about us description in the footer itself a lot of things could have been implemented so this is the website guys this i i mean i i guess it does look pretty good modern looking let me know what you guys think guys please guys let me know what you guys think and it would highly highly improve the level of designs that we make and also help you get more creative at the designs you make and you know help with all the things that you should not do in a design uh, help uh, things that you should do things that you could implement in your own web design and also let me know if you guys found anything helpful this is the home page and this is not the active section jesus this, this is just the home page of the website okay so this particular thing this particular website is the active section so once there is a mouse over or stuff like that this is how the website will look so, so once the person hovers over the link it will uh, have a background like this and it'll just you know have a border radius and all those kind of stuff and then at the end this is with the act, uh, active section so you will have you know the email here and you know, the subscribe button here so that is with the active section guys so this is you know the basic active section does not have that much of links so that's pretty much it for the website but you might realize one thing that it seems to be like with his logo his color theme color you know color scheme is red and black so once i saw that i did not notice that that much so once i saw that i also created a red version of this particular website it does not differ that much just the color so this is that first of all i changed the secondary color to red just like that so it was just a i i guess it was fully red it was almost fully red uh yeah i guess it does look the same so it's the same logo but i just changed the secondary logo and then i exported it took it and replaced it at the same place 
and put the get startup button in red i guess it does look much more better with the red color but it's uh I, i'm not sure yeah it does look good it's for personal preference but i'm not sure so book an appointment yeah red color and also the active section does look the same but with the active you know active links and when you hover over it it's got a rectangular rectangular stuff like that yeah yeah so that's pretty much it guys as you guys can see it's pretty good form uh, well formatted so i'll uh, get these groups get these groups closed um so as you guys can see this is the first one is the logo which is the blue logo and then it's the home page itself and then it's the active version of that home page and then i've got the red version of the logo and then the red version of that home page and then the red version and the active version of that website so yeah guys i hope it was uh, interesting and also i guess it will share my process on it uh, you would have seen uh, a time lapse of how i created the stuff how what i searched for how i got those logos and all those kind of stuff hope you guys got a lot of value from it and let me know if you guys have any questions if you guys have any questions or suggestions let me know in the comments down below and also if you have any more ideas on any websites or any apps that you want me to redesign let me know in the comments so if you want to reach out to me uh, you could you could reach out to me by you know my email which is in the description down below sanjirajblogs at gmail.com or also on my twitter which is at sanjay underscore raj the link will be down in the description down below so yeah guys let me know if you guys have any suggestions please leave a like on this video also subscribe to the channel to turn on notifications so that you guys are updated on my next series or my next video uh, you guys may see a next video around tomorrow so be, make sure to be tuned to that and also coding face if you're watching this video i hope this uh, design looks uh, pretty good also let me know what you get what you think of this design let me know you know whether i missed something or there's something good let me know in the comments down below and also yeah that's pretty much it i guess it does look good with all the color theory that i've implemented yeah I, i'm not that much of i'm not you know the best ui designer i was just uh, implementing with the modern style with inspiration from your videos and the websites that you have designed and thank you so much for that and i hope you guys like it thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe make sure to turn on notifications leave a like leave a comment down below follow me on social media let me know if you guys have any questions or so any questions any doubts anything that you want me to consider or give you an answer about that's pretty much it guys i'll see you guys next time